What's up everyone? Brandon from Reach Home Loans. So I want to talk about something that's becoming increasingly popular right now in this higher rate environment or what would be considered a higher rate environment compared to what we've seen for the last couple of years. And that's going to be buy downs and more specifically something called a 2-1 buy down. So just to explain how a 2-1 buy down works and what a 2 bound buy one is, the 2-1 stands for two years. Right, so let's just say that the going interest rate for you is a five and a half percent on a 30 year fixed rate mortgage. A two one buy down would allow you to pay a three and a half percent for year one of your 30 year mortgage, a four and a half percent for year two of your 30 year mortgage, and then a five and a half percent, the original interest rate, from year three through 30. Now, in theory, the idea is that you're most likely gonna refinance prior to year three or just after year three in order to get a lower interest rate, assuming the market adjusts and drops back down even further than it is, than wherever you locked, If in this case at a five and a half. So if rates had dropped to four and a half by year three, then it would make sense for you to refinance and lock yourself into that four and a half percent interest rate, just as an example. Now, in order to determine if this makes sense for you, you need to determine what the cost for this buy down is in relation to the savings. You need to compare what your rate would be if you didn't do a 2-1 buy down and that cost, along with what your rate will be with the cost of the buy down. And in most cases, you're gonna save enough money and in interest in years one and two to more than make up for whatever any cost would have been to you up front. Now, the cost doesn't necessarily have to come from you directly. It can be built into your interest rate. So maybe instead of a 5.5%, interest rate, you might take a 6% interest rate. And by doing so, that covers the cost. And your 2-1 buy down would now be a 4% for year one, a 5% for year two, and then a 6% forward from there. Or in some cases, you might be able to get a seller credit on your purchase. And you might decide that using that seller credit toward the buy down makes financial sense for you. So everyone's situation is different. If you want more details on how this works, and I didn't give enough specifics, throw a question out. I'm happy to answer it for you and look forward to hearing from you soon.